In this video, I am going to explain the concept of deliver changes that are being captured. So far in the course, we have done three steps. One, we have prepared the environment, we have configured change capture and we have configured an initial load. In this step, we are going to see how are we going to apply the changes that are captured that is called change delivery. Initial load is a phase through which we make the initial sync up between the source and target and change capture is the extract process which will capture changes from the reader log. So if I have a source and a target, we should first ensure there is a initial load process in place and also ensure extract is configured and then make use of the replicate process to apply changes that are captured. First, let me explain about how do we configure replicate process, understand the concepts of replicate process, then look at the nuances of running a re replicate when the initial load is running and post initial load run is over. So the idea behind a replicate process is that it will read from a trail. The trail could have been written to by an extract directly or a trail might have been written by the extract and then pump could have read from it and written to the remote trail which the replicate is going to read and apply. Now please remember the trail that replicate has to read should be in the golden gate canonical format and not in a flat file or db utility option. In order to add a replicate the steps are very simple. Ensure you have a parameter file in place on the target system. Ensure you have added the replicate and when you add the replicate you would also specify the trail file which it will read and then lastly you will go and start the replicate. So the options of creating the replicate is much simpler than an extract or pump because the additional step to add the trail file is not required. With the replicate being added the manager process should also be running when you start the replicate and it will automatically go and read from the trail file which you will specify in the creation of the replicate through which it can read and go ahead. 